Alright, what's up folks? Welcome back and in today's episode I'm bringing you something a little bit different That's right, we're about to bust up a buffet Kinda Alright, so today I'm at One Plus Chinese Restaurant, which is a really cool place. I'll tell you a little bit more about it in the commentary. And they don't have a food challenge per se, but what they do have is a leaderboard, if you can see it there, for most bowls finished. And if you manage to dethrone the current champ, you don't get the meal free, sadly, but you do get a sweet discount. I think it's 30% for life, which is pretty cool, although the restaurant's nowhere near my house, so I'll probably never use it, but I don't do this for the money. Do it for the glory, right? These are the uh, three highest scorers. We got whoever that is, Lewis Lee, and this guy, who's the MVP. 37 balls, so that's the number to beat today. Right, so you, you're probably gonna have to explain to me how it, how it actually works. You cook your own, right? You're going to cook in your own food. Right, okay. You get the pot. Here, it explains the flavours. If you're not sure what they are, have a look at the photos. Okay. Some, some are look strange. <laughs> <laughs> You pick a broth, yeah. I think I'm gonna go with chicken, not the spicy broth. A dipping sauce, and then you can just choose Anything. stuff off the belt, right? And the record is 37. Yeah. Uh, I don't have to use these, do I? Uh, okay, your fork. I, I was, I was gonna say, this <laughs> isn't gonna happen. You're using this to get it out. This sounds complicated. Right, this is this control. Right. This controls? Oh my gosh. We're doomed! <laughs> Stay me. <laughs> Right, so you get, uh, you get, thank you for the fork, that'll come in handy. So you get like two hours, right, to, okay. Steaming up the lens. Let's get started. Um, I don't really know where to start. Apparently I have to pre-order these, so I guess I just dunk them in here. There might be quite a lot of waiting, unless I eat it raw. I don't know what this stuff is. And then it's prawn, uh, meats, and meat. Okay. Yeah. What's up, Ben Army? Welcome back. That was a some kind of giant crab stick, by the way. But uh, welcome to the most convoluted eating feat of the year so far. Stick with me, though. I'll try and guide you through it. That counts as one ball, by the way. Sure does, and don't you try and dispute it. Anyway, today we're at this Chinese conveyor belt hot pot place. <laughs> I'm going to use two bowls, otherwise it's going to take too long. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I made a total massacre of this. Found it a bit tricky to get to grips with the whole cooking thing. How to get these hot dogs. Yeah, it, it tastes good, yeah, it tastes fantastic. Uh, in case you're wondering, yes, those were frozen cocktail weenies. This is, <laughs> this is hard to get right. <laughs> Bunch of people over there laughing at me. <laughs> I don't know, I've never eaten here before. Yeah, there were a few lunchtime regulars in who seem to take great delight <laughs> in watching me struggle with my first hot pot cooking experience. I'm sure it's not, but this really looks like spam. Nope, you're right, it's, uh, it's spam, or as it says on the menu, pork luncheon meat. But this was fantastic, this was actually my favourite part of the whole thing. Not even I've eaten with tweezers before. That's too much. I really hope this stuff is cooked. Yeah, you just burnt your finger, so it's probably cooked. I'm just gonna start dumping stuff in here. I, I don't know what that is. They look like chicken nuggets. No, not nuggets, but um, I never did figure out what they were. I think it was some kind of egg dish. I think this actually is spam. It's spam. Yeah, that's not the last you see the spam, by the way. I enjoyed that, so I just started piling it in <laughs> after a while. This feels like the first time I actually tried to use this camera. I really should have read the instructions before I started. I don't know if it's cooked. <laughs> Maybe it's cooked. It kind of feels like egg now. I don't think it's chicken. So these things are actually pretty good. They tasted a little bit like soggy frittata, which sounds bad, but it was actually, it worked. These look a bit like Monster Munch or Space Raiders. I'm sure they're not. <laughs> Now, sadly, just the shape that's reminiscent of Monster Munch. Uh, it was actually some kind of vegetable. Had a texture similar, kind of, to celery. I was 
still trying to get to grips with the whole cooking stuff, but it tastes good. More spam. All I'm doing is eating hot dogs at this point. Starting my Nathan's training early this year. It reminds me of that Limp Biscuit album. The hot dog flavoured water. I'm just throwing them in, I'm just throwing them in. These things are frozen. Yeah, it could fall. It'd be kind of handy if they had like a raw section where you could just eat stuff off the belt while the warm stuff cooks. And I don't see anything sweet, which is worrying me a little bit. Yeah, for me, I think it would be useful to have some kind of nibbles that you could just snack on if you didn't feel like cooking every single dish. The Spam is a winner. I like the Spam. Yeah, Spam and hot dogs, the highlight of a Chinese hot pot experience. Unexpected. That looks a bit like Velcro to me. Yeah, I did go in with the intention of trying to explain each dish, but I already had quite a lot to juggle here. This tasted a bit like squid, but uh, it was kind of wider and more ribbon-like. Oh yeah, I'm, I think that's the good stuff, so I, I, I'll save that to the end. I'm, trying to, I'm waiting for the ice cream to come back around. <laughs> I'm already in need of dessert. <laughs> We're in trouble here. Meat here. It's frozen, so it's gonna take a while. Normally it's my stomach that's hurting at this point. Today it's my brain that's hurting from all the thinking I've had to do. <laughs> this is hard. It took some skill to get to 37 bowls for a normal person. Yeah, whoever set the 37 bowl record, I am impressed. That guy was a tactician. It looks a bit like kebab meat. <laughs> Donna kebab meat. Thankfully it's not kebab meat, it's just not quite cooked yet. Spam, I love the spam, it's fantastic. Yeah, all right, enough with the spam already. I'm gonna get a I love spam t-shirt. I think this looks a lot more impressive than it actually is. Definitely the most impressive erection I've seen all year though. Pretty sure Mrs. Beard would agree. Stop it! The good stuff's coming around. Just cooking this in a big, fishy, meaty, spam flavored broth. Oh yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. This is turning into a serious operation. Oh, I've got people helping me out and everything. Right, this must be cooked now. It must be. Yeah, I think part of the problem here is that I've got so much in the hot pot. You're not really supposed to cook like five bowls at a time. But there's a lot of stuff going on here. There's like pork, luncheon meat, fish sticks, some vegetables, some crab. I think probably some fried cheese cubes, which were delicious by the way. But each thing should be cooked for a different length of time. Don't know what's gonna break first, me or the tower. Now I'm actually quite impressed that I managed to construct something so sturdy. I'm not normally the handy type. I think I understand why you have to specially order the, the beef, because the beef is really nice. Yeah, this beef was fantastic, and actually I should have taken more advantage of the a la carte items. You know, you can order some stuff from the menu that isn't on the belt. The next time the spam comes around, I'm having every single bowl of it. Yeah, but who needs the menu when you've got an inexplicable desire to keep eating pork, luncheon meat, boiled in a hot pot, in some chicken broth? Look at all that stuff I'm banging in there now. So once I finish this, I'm top of the leaderboard. Need to grab one of those ice creams I've seen moving around. Pulling out little mini hot dogs. Gotta make sure you get every last piece. Yeah, there's still quite a lot of food uh, left in those bowls and a few chunks left in the broth. They do check the broth and your bowls too, um, quite rigorously. So I wanted to make sure that everything was eaten. Leave no doubt for that record. That's 38 if you include the, this thing back here, so. I probably could do more, but I would really like, can I get one of those? In fact, can I get two of those ice creams? <laughs> yeah, at this point, I've eaten so much like seafood, broth, salty meat that I'm just dying for an ice cream, really. <laughs> My mouth is full. <laughs> <laughs> There's that pose again. Still haven't figured out anything better. Five plates, that's terrible. All kinds of paraphernalia on my table. I hope I don't throw up now. She's already taken my picture. 
Yeah, I don't want to get disqualified. All the hard work is over at this point, pretty much. And uh, I just heard a fellow diner say he could do no more than five bowls, so I had to let him know how I felt about that. There's one in the back here. Yeah, fortunately that giant crab stick baton thing I ate at the beginning does count as a bowl. So we're just counting up now. 38 is what we achieved, so we're top of the leaderboard. And two ice creams. Oh, that was hard. You haven't done that to 38, so. Are oh, you kidding after that? I've been eating like meat and fish for like an hour. I need, I need something sweet. Yeah. Anyway, I don't, I don't know if my legs work anymore. 